Well, you really need me to spell it out. Uh, forget it. <laughs> That's a good boy. Alrighty, let's get back to what we were talking about earlier. Namely, how do you get more BP? We go into the AB rooms, right? Look, we've got some keys for them right here. K and Quark have two each, so we've got six all together. But who goes into what room? <laughs> that doesn't really matter. What? Anybody can go into any room. <gasps> oh, okay. But there are only six rooms. Didn't I tell you? The two members of a pair share the same destiny. Then you mean both members of a pair need to go into the same room? Yes, yes, yes. What do we do after we go into the room? Play a game. That is a clear reference. <laughs> Just like it says on the door. You play the Ambidex game! Fabulous! Wait, what does that mean? What's ambidex supposed to mean anyway? Ambidextrous means both left and right-handed equally. I would guess it's short for ambidextrous. Yes. Most use the word to refer to the ability to use both of one's hands instead of favoring the left or right. But it can also be taken to mean someone who is duplicitous or two-faced. Left-handed. Now, that doesn't mean that people who are left-handed are duplicitous. It's just that's where the term came from. Underhanded, left-handed. It's interesting because people in the past didn't use to trust those who were left-handed because it was, you know, less common than people who were right-handed. They tended not to trust people like that. These days, if you're left-handed, you can throw a baseball, you can make millions and millions of dollars. So it's a game of betrayal, then. Well, yes, I guess you could put it that way. And what's the nonary game? Ah, uh, that refers to the whole enchilada. The nonary game is a game where you try to open the number nine door and escape. The Ambidex game is just a mini game you play as part of the larger one. Makes sense? Not really, but keep going. Like hell. This shit is confusing. Is it? Or is it that you're just a few carats short of a bushel? What do you think, Dio? Ah, you arrogant little bastard. <laughs> Well, that's just how I am, so you better get used to it. Uh, now, could I have you all move to the AB room, please? I'll give you more specifics once everyone's inside. Why is your why do you now have a southern accent? I think it'll probably be easier to understand that way. God, that's creepy. Kay, Cork, and myself each gave one card to Luna, Alice, and Ten Miyoji. Then we headed into the AB rooms. There wasn't really any discussion about who'd go into which door, but Fi and I found ourselves heading toward the leftmost room. <laughs> Looks like everybody else has gone in already. Think we should head into? Why are you asking me? Just hurry up and get in there. Okay, okay. An Ambidex gate has been opened. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. 45 minutes? Something wrong? No, nothing. I just... There's no one here. What are you talking about? Of course there isn't anyone here. Well, yeah, I know. I just... Let's get inside. Yeah. Right.
This looks just like the room we woke up in. Well, there's one thing that's different. That screen. Yep. Looks like there's something on it. The Ambidex game will now begin. To enter your vote, please touch the start button on your screen. Once you have entered your vote, the door will lock automatically. It will not open again until the polling period is finished. So we're stuck in here for 45 minutes? Shit! <laughs> Oops. Sorry. What the hell are you doing, you idiot? It told me to push it, so I pushed it. What? I just pressed the start button. Did you even read what it said? Once you press that button, it locks the door for 40 minutes. Well, that's not good. Now, thanks to your stupid ass, we're stuck in here for almost an hour. Well, we've been stuck in this room before. Just like old times, huh? Yes, really. Ugh. Hey, hey, hey! Looks like everybody's closed their AB gates! AB gate? That's the door to the AB room, silly! You're in the AB room right now! Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be continuing my earlier explanation. Now, let's get this party started! Let me tell you about the AB gate. Stop with Tunes. Since it's a game, you're obviously going to have an opponent. But it's not like this is a battle royale where you just fight everybody. Each round will be a one on one battle. Mono a mono or mono a womano. Well, there are two people in each pair, aren't there? So it'll be more of a two-on-one battle, I guess. <laughs> now, I imagine you're all wondering who your opponent is going to be. It's actually really easy. You'll be competing against whoever you paired up with to go through the chromatic doors. Oh, no. That means I'm facing Alice and Clover? <laughs> For example... Ziggy and Fido paired up with Alas and went through the Cyan door. No, Didn't just they? Alice. That means that Ziggy and Fido will be playing against Alas. <sighs> That's two against one. And it goes the other way, too. Alas' opponent will be Ziggy and Fido. Oh, okay, so it doesn't matter the numbers. Obviously, that means Potassium and Fibo's enemy will be Tamioli. Potassium and Cleaver? K. K. K is the symbol for potassium. God. You have to be, uh, you have to pay pretty close attention to keep up with this stuff. And B.O. and Quirk's enemy will be Mooney! <laughs> Mooney is Luna. I don't know. I guess it's written for people who are, you know, not so dumb. So I guess that's why I like it. Well, I guess enemy isn't really the right word, is it? Let's go with competitor. After all. If you choose ally, then they're your ally. What? <laughs> what? Don't get it? No, I don't. Well, don't worry. Just listen while Zero the Third explains it all. Just like Clarissa? First, I want everybody to focus on the screen on the device in the back of the room. You should see A, ally, and B, betray on it. Do you? Oh, I don't like the way this is going. All you guys have to do is pick! Just pick one of those easy options! There's nothing easy about this. Your DP will go up or down, depending on what you pick. It's a little complicated, and some of you are a little slow. So, I made this handy chart. The plus and minus are from your point of view. So, let's say you choose ally 
and so does your opponent. You'll get two BP, and so will they. And you'll all get a nice warm, fuzzy feeling inside. We call that the best pals outcome. Just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Next is what you get if you choose ally, but your opponent chooses to betray. If that happens, you lose two BP, and they get three. So it's kind of like the prisoner's dilemma, is what you're telling me. We call that the stupid jerk face outcome. God almighty, it's a game of trust. That's what this is, it's a game of trust. Do I know the opponent well enough to guess whether they will ally with me or betray me? Holy mother of God. Potatoes. The third choice is the opposite of that. It's when you choose betray, but your nice, innocent opponent chooses ally. So if I betray them, I get three points. Oh, I get it. I get three points, and that gets me closer to being able to get out. But I'm not going to make a lot of friends that way. <laughs> oh, 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 this is... Oh, God. This time, you're the one who gets three BP, and they're the one who loses two. Holy shit. We call that the serves them right outcome. I mean, what were they thinking? Choosing ally was a stupid choice, and there's nothing for you to feel guilty about. And finally, the very last scenario. This is when you choose betray. And so does your opponent. If that happens, neither of you gets or loses anything. Hmm. So if we're both assholes that can't be trusted, at least we won't move anywhere. Absolutely zero change in BP. Ugh. Boring. We call this the why even bother outcome. But I'm guessing we have no choice but to vote. As the game master here. This is the situation I want to avoid the most. You're probably wondering about the pears, aren't you? Well, let me explain. Remember how I told you that both people in a pair share a destiny? Well, that applies here too. The two of you only get one vote. Oh no. You get to choose once between ally or betray. That's going to cause problems. That doesn't mean you split your points, though. You both get three points, or lose two points, or whatever. In other words, what you see on this chart is what you get. Okay, then. I think that about does it for the basic rules. Actually, there's a little bit more, but... Please tell me, now! It'll just have to wait, I guess. No! <laughs> Why does it have to wait? Hush now. It'll be okay. No, no it won't. 30 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Anyway, I've got to hop along now. Don't do something harebrained and wait until the last minute. You've got plenty of time, so think it out. Okay, this sentence, you literally just contradicted with the next. Bye bye now. Boy boy. Have a nice trust. <laughs> or a tryst. Shy gypsy. Shyly sprut. Slyly. Sh shyly, slyly, spryly. Trist by me crit. I can't remember. It's been freaking five years. I don't know. Man. What are we going to do? About the AB game? Yeah. Should we choose ally or betray? Yeah, it's a tough call. This is really kind of an interesting game. Interesting, yes. 
Fun? No. Seems like it's based on the prisoner's dilemma. What's that? You've never heard of it? Oh, I've heard of it. It's a thought experiment that uses game theory to examine why people do or don't cooperate. Yep. Good old John Nash with game theory. Let's say Apple and Banana have committed a serious crime. <laughs> I love how they try to lighten the situation with these colorful characters. Alright, I'm listening. Another one of those deep thought conversations, guys. Pay attention, there'll be a quiz at the end. Apple and Banana? I just gave them the first names I thought of. They don't mean anything. <laughs> a, B, they actually do. <laughs> anyway, Apple and Banana are caught by the police and sent off to separate cells far away from one another. In other words, there's no way for them to contact each other. And they're not like telepaths or something. So that's the setup. You following me? Yeah. Keep going. So, a detective shows up. He visits each cell and tells them both exactly the same thing. It goes something like this. You can both clam up if that's what you want. We got enough to put you both in the slammer for two years if you do. Now, if you flip on your pal over there, tell me everything. I can get your sentence reduced to one year. Sorry, I'm just, I'm laughing at the voice actor. <laughs> this voice actor is in both the first one, the second one, and Persona 5, and Catherine, and I don't know his name, but anybody help me out, please? That means your buddy will serve 15, but <laughs> that ain't your problem, right? Of course, if he decides to spill the beans, it goes the other way. He gets one year, and you get to spend 15 years eating government cheese. I'm guessing government cheese doesn't taste very good. You're probably wondering if both of you confess. Well, I can shave off a little time for saving me trouble, but you'll still both do 10 years. Just like before, if they both do the right thing, instead of 15, they do 10. So, punk, what's it gonna be? You gonna give me what I want? Or are you gonna keep that trap shut? Of course, I told your partner the same thing I just told you. I wonder if you can trust him to keep the cat in the bag. No rush. I'll give you plenty of time to think about it. No, oh, that's devious. <laughs> so that's the prisoner's dilemma. Yeah, what would you do? Say you were in apple or banana shoes. What would I do? Again, it would depend on how much I trust the other. If I trusted them, I would want an ally. If I don't trust them, I would want to betray. That's if I'm being, you know, a good person. If I'm being a not so good person and being selfish, if I know they trust me, I would want to betray them. Again, being selfish, I'd want to get out as soon as possible. But still being a bad person, if I know they're going to betray me, I would want to betray as well. Oh my god, this is such a mind screw. <laughs> If my erstwhile criminal associate Banana is going to keep his mouth shut, then the best choice for me is to spill the beans. That way, I only serve one year. But what if he confesses too? Then the smart thing would be for me to do the same. After all, if he cuts a deal and I don't, then I'll spend 15 years in prison. See, and if we both stay silent, each of us will only spend two years. So knowing that, I would hope to stay silent, but I can't trust him. Or can I? I don't know, it's so hard. Then it seems like the best choice is always going to be to confess. Interesting. 
but you're forgetting something important. What's that? That banana will be thinking the same thing. Yep, I was thinking of that. So you'll both confess, and you'll both end up serving ten years. Do you get it? If you both trusted each other, then neither of you would have served more than two years. But because you both made the decision based on your own self-interest, you're going to spend eight more years in prison. In other words, the logical decision leads not only to a less desirable outcome on the group level, but also a pretty shitty situation on the personal level, too. Yeah, no kidding. You see now? The A-B game is the prisoner's dilemma. <laughs> hmm. They are pretty much the same thing. If we trust Alice, we can both increase our BP by two. But if we don't trust each other, in the long run, it won't benefit either of us. Hmm. Yeah, but this is where it gets interesting. Let's say for a moment all nine of us are on one team. Who would we be playing against? Zero, of course. Right. So we can assume the nine of us are fighting Zero in the AB game. If you look at it that way, what would we want to do to beat him? <sighs> Just look at the point totals. Say we all picked Ally. What would our total points be? Uh, we'd all be at five, right? <laughs> Right, between... Okay. Now let's say one of the pairs chooses Betray. The pair who picked Betray will get three points each. So in total, they'll have six. But the solo they betrayed will have two points subtracted, so... Total gain for that game would only be four points. The other two groups would choose Ally for that round, right? Yeah. So for the other teams, you'll get six each, which will give you... 2 times 6 is 12, plus 4. 16 points total. So, what does that tell you? If we consider all nine of us to be on the same team, we need to all always choose ally to get the most points. If even one person chooses betray, the total points we get goes down. Exactly. In this game, if each individual acts for the benefit of the whole group, everyone benefits. But... If everyone starts looking out for themselves, it'll impact the group negatively. And eventually, it'll impact them negatively, too. If all of us choose Betray, then the group gets zero points. Ultimately, nobody benefits. Not even the individual. In other words, selfish but logical decisions hurt everyone. And they hurt you. So what are you saying? Okay, I think I get it. What you're saying is that I should pick Ally. No. No? I mean the opposite. You're telling me to betray. If you're going to make the most logical choice here, the only option is betray. What? Why? You just explained why that was a terrible idea. No, I didn't. It's not the prisoner's solution, it's the prisoner's dilemma. Even though there's an outcome where everybody's happy, the choice you'd have to make for that outcome isn't the rational one. You want to pick it, but you can't. A dilemma. If we choose Ally, and Alice does too, then yes, it'll be great. All three of us will get two points. That would be ideal, obviously. And it would help everybody. But what if Alice chooses Betray? Our BP will go down to one. Right. And if that happens, we're screwed. So... 20 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Unless we can be certain that Alice will choose Ally, we don't have a choice. We have to choose Betray. Unfortunately, we don't have any way to know that for certain. 
That means we have to make the rational choice. It would be great to make the right choice, but we can't. What would you do? You, the viewer. What would you do? Put it in the comments below. Hey. Did you just say we're screwed? If you don't mind telling me. What did you mean by that? I'm guessing something happens if our BP hits zero, right? I mean, the way you said it sure makes it seem like something's gonna happen. Do you know something? You do know something! What are you hiding? Yeah, you know, there's been something weird about you from the moment we met. I mean, for starters, how do you know my name? Oh, knock it off. This is getting old. I don't care if it's getting ancient. This is important. I don't know you, but you seem to know me. Somehow. The only explanation I can think of that makes any kind of sense is that you're working with Zero. What about you? What? Are you working with Zero? Me? Why would you think that? You're too calm. You wake up trapped in some kind of twisted game and it doesn't even phase you? That hardly seems normal. Oh, come on. I could ask you the exact same thing. Don't change the subject. We're talking about you. Maybe you actually do know me. No, I don't. Where the hell did that come from? Look, I've told you I've never seen you before in my life. Excuse me? What was that? Sigma. Just let it go. Our time's up. This is it. Before, well, before it ends, I wanted to tell you thanks. You know we're about to die, but you still stuck with me. So, thank you, Sigma. Goodbye. Whoa. <laughs> we obviously do know each other. What? What is going on? What? What was that? What's wrong? I saw... Saw what? The... The explosion. Explosion? Explosion? I think there's a bomb somewhere in this building. I'm not sure, but it sounded like it was on a timer. You and I were trying to stop it, but we couldn't do anything and... 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 Whoa! Sigma! Calm down! What are you talking about? I don't know. Gah. Ugh. What is it now? My head! It hurts? Yeah. You know, you said it hurt when you first woke up in the AB room, too. It didn't just hurt. Felt like it was gonna explode. Are you alright? I think so. Maybe you should rest a little. Yeah. Maybe I could just lay my head on your lap. <laughs> oh, 
Of course. I shouldn't have worried. Fi and I spent the rest of the time until the door opened in silence. The AB game was forgotten as I tried to make sense of what I'd seen. Had it been real in any way? Or was it just a hallucination, brought on by stress or maybe some strange drug they dosed me with while I was out? It had seemed real though. Was it a premonition? I had to stifle a bark of laughter at the thought. <laughs> hmm. Seeing the future. This wasn't some crappy sci-fi novel, this was real life. Things like that don't happen. I was just tired. The stress of the Known Ring game was probably getting to me more than Fi thought. I was tired, I was emotional, a hallucination was strange, but really it was perfectly understandable. But what if I wasn't losing it? What if I was fine? What if it hadn't been a hallucination? I sat there for what felt like hours, my mind running in circles. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. It is time. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. That feels important to note. What the hell was that? What? Do you need a translator? If you don't vote fast enough, then it'll set your vote to ally. Make sense? Or do I need to use smaller words? Shut up. So if you plan to pick ally, then you don't even really need to go into the AB room. I guess not. We're already in here, though. So we might as well figure out what we're gonna do. What's it gonna be, Sigma? Ally? Or betray. Why are you making me choose? You made it pretty clear that we should choose betray. Well, I didn't say should. I just said we didn't really have a choice. What does that mean exactly? It's completely different. What's different? The former is an active opinion. The latter is just passive information. Whatever. You still want to betray, right? Yeah. Then why did you ask me? So, we never really finished our conversation from earlier. You said that we'd be screwed if our BP dropped to 1. What did you mean by that? Is something gonna happen if our BP gets to 0 or something? Answer me. We die. What? If our BP drops to zero, we die. Number one, how do you know that? Number two, holy shit. The needles in our bracelets activate. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, how the hell do you know that? Zero never said anything about it. I don't know. I swear, I don't. I just... I know, somehow. There's just this feeling I've got. Like, that's what'll happen. Oh, come on. That again? You fed me the same line when I asked you why you knew my name. How can you know all these things when there's no way on Earth? Wait. Did you... see it? What? Did you just have some sort of, I don't know, premonition? What? What the hell are you talking about? You sounded like a crazy person the first time, too. Then... you haven't... Seriously, Sigma, are you okay? I don't know. I think there's something wrong with you.
This was wrong. Thai was supposed to be acting strange, not me. Instead, here she was asking if I was okay. But what if it wasn't just her? What if I was losing it too? I groaned. My head felt awful. It was like someone had thrown my brain in a food processor and hit puree. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Hey, it's almost time. When are you gonna pick? If you aren't going to do it, then I... No, I'm fine. I'll do it. We're gonna choose Betray, right? Yeah. Don't worry about it. Alright. Take it away. 30 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. I stood in front of the selection screen and took a deep breath. This was it. I ran over my options one last time. There was only one possible choice. <laughs>